The only thing more beautiful than an Oklahoma sunrise is knowing the peak rut is around the corner. Let's do this. I was not prepared for what this hunt had in store for me this year. Every year I try to schedule my vacation to the first two weeks of November. It's more than just the rut for me. It's more like a family reunion. Me and some of my buddies get together and make this two week hunt. This year was no different. Jesse, and I'll put a link to his YouTube down below, along with Justin, made this trip extremely memorable again this year. I got to the public hunting area a couple of days before the buddies did. So my first evening was more of a scout type hunt. Went out and enjoyed the nice breeze. It was, however, a little bit warmer than I was used to hunting back in Oklahoma. I remember laying there that night in the dark on top of my sleeping bag, sweating. Yeah, it was a little bit warm. We needed that cool front to go ahead and move in. Along with the cold front, we were gonna be experiencing numerous storms. Yeah, you've seen it in the past. This year was no different. Had several storms come all around us. I'm not a fan of hunting in the rain, and I'll explain more of that later in future videos. If you can see through the woods, we've already got a buck coming in. He's a little too far for an archery shot, but we've got a buck moving through. After that buck moved through, I had a really nice deer come in right at 25 yards. I was able to make a perfect shot with my Matthews. Just so you know, I don't show those shots on my videos. I think it's something sacred between the hunter and his game. So I refuse to show it. But give me 30 minutes and we'll go track it down. After about an hour, I started tracking, was able to locate my deer. Now the fun part, dragging it all the way back to camp. Back at camp, we got the deer hung and got ready for the evening meal, tenderloin. It's a bow hunter's tradition. The very next morning, I slept in. I went out to try to get some B-roll for this video. Instead, I ended up getting a really nice buck. Again, you won't see the shot in this video because I believe it's sacred. However, follow along as we track this one down. While I'm standing here waiting to give it almost an hour before I start tracking, I can see some movement off in the distance. Follow along as this lost baby deer tries to make friends with me. I eventually had to tell it to go on along. We can't be friends. If you listen real close, you can hear me calling the deer, one of the most authentic deer calls ever. I 
baby. Hi, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. shot until I'm standing over the deer. I'm always nervous. Let's go track this thing down. Let's head back to camp, get our sled, so that we can get this deer back to camp. And yes, we'll be having grilled tenderloin again tonight. Special thanks to my friend Diesel. I always enjoy visiting with you at camp. And thank you, Brett, so much for the gators that you gave me this year. What an awesome gift. Thank you both. This is the part that kind of sucks, last day of camp, but I'm very, very thankful and blessed. Got everything, all of my gear loaded up. It is 825, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call this an extremely successful deer camp. Thanks for joining along with us guys. I hope that you've maybe learned some stuff. Be sure to click subscribe, check out some of our other videos. We'll have plenty of videos from this hunt, from hunting, wildlife we've seen, to tracking deer. And uh, again, thank you all. I hope you all have a blessed week.